Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for joining. My name is Spandan Mahapatra. I run the SAP Global Center of Excellence for TCS, and I manage the North America SAP relationship. I'm here to talk to you about the specific areas of innovation for specific industries that we are driving, leveraging the Cincinnati Center of Excellence. So we have our global Cincinnati Center of Excellence, which is based on our cloud infrastructure. I'm going to walk you through the overall platform that we have for which we enable our innovation. So if you look at our overall infrastructure here, we have been actually working out of our own private cloud for almost more than three years. And based on this private cloud, we are driving industry-based specific solutions and integrating with almost all the industry solutions that SAP provides. So if you look at our infrastructure, we have some great partnerships with HP and Cisco and EMC. Our cloud infrastructure is running on Microsoft Hyper-V platform. And we use, if you see here, we are using the Cisco Unified Computing System, the Blade, V Series Blade servers, which is the backbone of our private cloud. And we are using HP 3 Power and EMC storage for our storage solution. This cloud infrastructure of ours is allowing us to scale and build solutions and move very rapidly to industry trends. We leverage this very actively. Over the past nine months, we have been investing very heavily on the HANA platform and the mobility platform. So if you look here, we, we were very early adopters of the HANA platform. We had established the HP, one terabyte, HANA for Enterprise platform. And we actually demoed our first SAP retail solution on HANA at TechEd Las Vegas. For, for people who were there at TechEd, you would have seen our solution on retail. And we drove our solution out, out of HANA Enterprise. And we took our HANA Enterprise and integrated it with all these specific solutions that we have out of this cloud. Last quarter, we actually now started on our BW and HANA. So again, this is another environment, which is a 512 GB environment. So we are both HANA for Enterprise as well as BW and HANA to drive our HANA solutions. So if you look at the architecture here, right from a footprint perspective, we are able to drive integration with the backend source system. So at the bottom left, if you look here, there are multiple SAP systems that we have for retail, high-tech, telecom, consumer products, insurance, and we are able to connect to all these multiple industry solution-based systems based out of a separate stack. We have our own SLT based out of a NetWeaver stack, which is able to connect to all these separate industry solutions. We also have data services for customers who want to do massive amount of transformation, we, who are evaluating both SLT as well as transformation for specific use case scenarios. And we leverage that particular in, uh, extraction mechanism to connect to the source systems and drive our data into HANA. And on the HANA footprint, we have been evolving over all the phases of the, the way HANA has evolved. Now you know SPS 04 has come in in the last week. We are also evaluating very strongly around the R programming language and the way we will use HANA and Hadoop so in, our, in, our, in our lab. So we are seeing a tremendous surge in interest. I'm going to drive through all the industry scenarios that we are focusing. And we are, we are here at booth 1400, the Tata booth. We, I invite all of you to come to our booth to test drive some of our HANA solutions and some of our mobility solutions. So thanks for being here. If you, I'm going to drive through some of the key industry solutions. The first one, of course, retail is a very strong focus area for TCS. And uh, as a global uh, presence, we have very strong account base in all the large retailers playing globally. So in the retail footprint, we had very strong demand for industry-specific retail solutions integrated with HANA and mobility. So what we have done, we have actually had our initial HANA solutions based on assortment analysis pricing distribution analysis, and now we have the GM ROI. You know, as a retailer, as a retail merchant, or as a retail uh, VP, the gross margin return on investment is extremely important. The way you, you are able to get real-time information using HANA along with mobility based on your retail business data is extremely important. So we have built these solutions in our lab, and we are running multiple different scenarios for providing very quick an early proactive decision making for some of the retail business owners. And 
the key thing that I'm seeing, and all of you would be, would be seeing around the pillars around HANA, mobility analytics, I think the, the convergence is already here. And, I, I, and we are seeing this based on customer requirements and things that we are prototyping. The, the cool thing about this convergence is the ability to see an analytic view, things that you really require on the form factor that a mobile device can permit, then ability to drive a transaction out of the mobile device and then hitting back your ERP. So that completes the whole round trip. And we are demoing some of these solutions and working very aggressively on some of bringing these solutions more from prime time. So if you look at it, you get an analytic view for your promotions or pricing and your overall view. And then from the device, if you're able to create a unique promotion right from the device, or you're able to affect a price change right from the device, device, bring it back to the ERP transactional system, and then get a view on your analytical dashboard, that's the power of the convergence. And that we are already demoing these solutions. Please visit our booth at 1400 in, from a retail perspective and for other industries as well. So that's the, the, the unified view of HANA mobility and analytics that we are driving from a retail footprint. And if you look at uh, the, uh, the architecture, the back, backbone is always con consistent with our overall cloud infrastructure. So we have different industry solutions. The one in the orange at the bottom, we just imagine that for every industry solution, whether it's retail, whether it's pharma, whether it's high tech, we have a different set of actual ERP systems, BW systems, which is already connected through SLT and data services and SUP connected to this environment. So what that offers to our customers, very quickly and rapidly, we can prototype even before you hit an RDS. So you can, SAP RDS, you can actually prototype. In your, so we are working very closely with SAP, and this is a national campaign, and we are working from a retail footprint where we are actually, uh, just to give you a scenario for a large retailer in North America, we have actually used our HANA environment, and I'm talking about only one specific business scenario, which is for the month end close process. We actually took in 450 gigs of data into our HANA environment, and we, the business transaction today for the retailer, very complicated month end process, which takes 25 hours for the batch. If it runs into a problem, the entire month end process stops. It has to be rerun again. With HANA, we have already delivered this. We have scaled it from 1.2 billion records to 2.2 billion records out of our lab. And we have seen performance gains anywhere between 60 seconds to three minutes. Everything works in all, all runs that we have done so far in five minutes. Very uh, strong collaboration between SAP, customer, and TCS out of the lab. So this is for retail. And uh, I will be able to, uh, our industry folks for every industry uh, are based out of our booth. And we will go through a, 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 every specific area that you're interested in. Next one, insurance, very strong financial services uh, are uh, almost 40 to 50% of our revenues are around the banking financial services sector globally. And for all of you that you know, we crossed 10 billion this year for the first time as a, um, uh, a system integrator. And uh, in the financial services area, in insurance, if you look at the claims intelligence, the claims analytics, the ability to know your loss, loss situation versus expenses, and unearned pre premium reserves is a phenomenal problem because of the real-time nature of the demand. So we have already created actual transactional data. This is not about just mocking up something on Business Objects Explorer. This, there is actual transactional data that we have loaded into the uh, into our lab environment, and we are running customer analytics, uh, claims analytics on top of Business Objects Explorer on the iPad connected to HANA. All our solutions are getting mobile compliant in terms of connectivity between HANA and the mobile front end, either direct, and we have some scenarios where we are starting to use NetWeaver Gateway and the OData channel. So this is for insurance, and the good part is the backbone environment is all set. So you have FSCM, which is the claims management, you have collections and disbursements, which is FSCD, and we have RI, the reinsurance. And we see tremendous demand. We have multiple different customers in each of these areas, and we see demand from customers based on specific unique scenarios. So we, our focus is going very industry deep and making solutions which are, which are very content-rich HANA apps with connectivity to mobile driven out of our labs. And that's what we are doing. So there are different types of scenarios we are supporting. Customers who are evaluating HANA and mobility in their roadmap towards a license acquisition, or customers who have already bought their environment, haven't got the business approval for a new investment in a different division. We are also opening our labs for participating with those customer bases. So this is something which is for insurance. Next one, pharma. Phenomenal uh, appetite for pharma. You know there was this recent case in Florida with uh, heavy uh, 
deviation for oxycodone and it's a massive drug abuse problem. The national average was anywhere between 70,000 uh, dosages. It averaged three, 3 million dosages. There was a big deviation. So just imagine the ability of HANA connected to the pharma backbone systems to track drug abused, drug, to, to track drug counterfeiting. Another case, Avastin, cancer drug Avastin, massively counterfeited. We see phenomenal uh, appetite for HANA in the pharma environment. We are very strong uh, pharma customers, and we are actually working on both the month and closing process, as well as some of these areas around serialization. So pharma serialization as a concept, having IDs and product traceability and accountability for the whole pharma life cycle. We have the auto ID infrastructure. Again, I'm coming back to the base, base back, the convergence theory, right? We have very strong ERP background, which SAP, all of you, all of you know that SAP works. And so we have auto ID uh, infrastructure. We have object uh, OER, which is the object event repository, and then the entire ERP layer. This is already connected to HANA on our cloud, and we are able to create data for the pharma environment and drive analytics on top of that particular environment. So this is allowing us, if you're going to see, you can, you can see multiple different scenarios around the entire supply chain related to warehouse pilferage. These are the, the, the bottom screen has product authentication, and almost even if you include the pharma distribution layer, not only the pharma manufacturing and the process layer, the pharma distribution layer will also have significant requirement for these kind of analytics. And, and not only SAP data, the ability to do integration with non-SAP. So we are promoting that whole decoupling of HANA and ha moving HANA to a different level where we can go in and connect to non-SAP systems and also have front-end systems beyond just SAP business objects layer. That's another area we are actually now working on uh, for uh, this particular area. Next one. Um, electronic uh, batch records, we are actually the Performix team, and uh, there is, uh, this is being demoed in our booth. The uh, area around the process orders and the ability, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, requires seven years for audits. And in order to have that data, being able to provide that data very aggressively, quickly, for compliance and for overall visibility to the chain, the combination, so we have everything installed and being leveraged from a uh, solution perspective, including Performix. If you see here, Performix XMES, which is one of the leading solutions in that area, and you have XBatch, and then integration with HANA and the overall layer for uh, reporting on analytics. This is already working, and we can uh, demo to specific customers who are interested in the pharma area, and that drives our analytics in this particular area. Next one. This is an area where, where TCS has co-innovated and co-developed a product with SAP. And it's a professional services IBU. Uh, this is a expert finder app, TCS expert finder app. It will be released next month on the SAP App Store. It's a very cool app, and some of you have already been tweeting about it. And we have two sessions. Already we had a test drive today. We have two ASUG sessions related to this. The, this, this app can go a lot beyond just professional services. This, what this app allows you to do, it allows you to do searches, semantic searches, and connect, and SAP HCM is not mandatory. You can connect to other additional backbone systems. And we are having LinkedIn and social media integration with this app as well in the phase two of our uh, roadmap. What we see is when you are doing these kind of apps, the potential to connect this with HANA is also a significant potential for rapid searches, and that's something which is also being planned for phase two. So the, please test drive this app in our booth, this TCS Export Finder app in, from a mobility perspective. Definitely a very, very significant app from our uh, solution uh, center. Next one, CRM. And all of you know, SAP has RDS solutions around CRM. The appetite for CRM is very high. And what we have done, we have taken one area around CRM where from a mobile effectiveness, marketing effectiveness from campaigns perspective, we will be able to create campaigns directly from, and this is done on, a, uh, on an Android device. We want to do certain scenarios from Android. So we are supporting multiple devices. It's not only Apple products. It's for all the products that uh, you would imagine in the mobile ecosystem. This is for an Android device. So you can judge the campaign effectiveness from SAP and integration with a Facebook uh, contacts perspective. And this CRM solution is being already uh, integrated. And we have connectivity between NetWeaver Gateway HANA CRM, and this is already running, and we can also demo this to you. So this is a, a, an area where you can see where NetWeaver Gateway is also very, very important in the overall equation, and we are seeing a lot of demand in that area. Our, we, in consumer products industry, we have 
actually a, a solution where it allows us to give us real-time business insight, where basically we have the consumer products data in our core ECC systems, in our ERP systems, and this is connected through HANA, it's fantastic, very relevant business analytics for the consumer products industry, and there are eight specific dashboards that we have for a consumer products company, and I encourage you to test, take a test drive, and you can really see, especially those things there, which says about the share of SKU, the out of stock situation, and the inventory and the shipment situation. You can able to get real time view of your actual business transaction situation by connecting to HANA. And this is for the consumer products industry, and we are getting very, uh, uh, very good uh, reviews about how we can take it and run for the overall supply chain for a consumer products area. So this is for telecom, we actually ran this uh, POC jointly with one of the large uh, uh, device manufacturers here. Uh, they have a very cool uh, pod here as well. And uh, they, have a, they have had a significant challenge from a tracking of their serial numbers from a device perspective. It's very important for their overall operations as well as supply chain. And we ran this from our lab along with the customer. And we also ran order, order to cash scenarios based on this equipment numbers. And you can imagine if they're geographically spread with the equipment numbers, you need to have the real tracking number of the equipment to drive your business analytics. So combining all of that together, driving the order to cash analytics, we actually have uh, developed this solution along with them. And they're evaluating this to be move, moved on to their own production environment and how to take on HANA from there. One of the cool innovations areas around, around this area, we call it as retraction, the ability call data from HANA from your existing ERP environment. Basically, doing transactional system integration with HANA as an interim solution to have performance gains. And we have actually seen significant performance jump where you are using an existing function from your ERP to source data into HANA. And we are, we are, we are seeing that, that that's an advantage that a lot of customers who are just looking HANA as a silo can look at how ERP can gain from a HANA database before they go into ERP on HANA. So this is another thing which we, it's already working. And then perfect plant, and uh, you know we are one of the leaders in this particular particular area from a manufacturing perspective. We have a lot of perfect plant mobility related dashboards, and we are actually uh, going to integrate some of these uh, perfect plant mobility solutions along with uh, the HANA infrastructure. And uh, the um, ability to look at the shop floor, the ability to look at the uh, overall uh, analytics from a shop floor perspective from a perfect plant uh, solutions area is already working for two years in our environment. So we can, you can really see how we can add value from a uh, combination of big data along with mobility here. The final one, definitely customer, right? So uh, we have actually been working with a very large utilities uh, customer in Australia. I, uh, we are extremely happy because this particular uh, case study involves real big data. And just to give you uh, some uh, data points in this particular area, this particular customer actually is evaluating HANA for much more advanced settlement reporting, better load forecast accuracy, and for managing the smart meter solution. So the customer is putting in the smart meter solution. As a result, that they are installing 2.5 million smart meters. So if you look at that particular element from a master data perspective, 2.5 million smart meters, and they are integrating their HANA infrastructure with SAP CRM, utilities, weather forecast data, and their distribution patterns, and their segment profiles. And then they are doing aggregation and load profiling to drive analytics on top of that. So utilities, all of you are already seeing, uh, has been uh, adopting HANA for across multiple set of customers. And we have been very early. We have been working through different uh, sprint methodologies for different timelines and uh, in terms of interim deliveries. And this was, in fact, one of our early uh, uh, customers last year who actually started on the HANA journey. And the data volume for this customer, act just because of the smart meter solution and by uh, enabling the ability to poll, they're going to poll their uh, metering points 30 minutes intervals. That means the data is actually jumping 4,400 times. So uh, just imagine the uh, jump of 4,400 times on their existing data is going to spin off the requirements for the amount of analytics and the ability to drive through that kind of big data. So we are working very uh, in a very collaborative way with SAP and the customer to drive the, this HANA architecture and the solution implementation. And I'm, I'll be glad to uh, share more details uh, with you at the booth. I think with that, uh, I, I'm uh, getting close to this presentation. I, 
thank you all for attending this. And I know this is lunch hour, so thanks for joining. Uh, I, I welcome you all to visit our booth, and I have uh, a follow-up Q&A session here. I'll be very glad to answer questions. And I would like to thank uh, the entire TCS Global COE team located out of Cincinnati and our global centers who have been actively working on all the industry solutions and our, our very um, active uh, marketing team. I want to share you a, a last point here. TCS is actually an official sponsor of the Chicago, Boston, and New York Marathon. So we, we have an interesting raffle in our booth for uh, signing up for one of the marathons. It's very uh, very personal to our uh, uh, corporate culture about marathon support. So I encourage you all of to come to the booth as well. Thank you very much. Thanks for the presentation.